What's up, everyone? Welcome to uh, the last Tuesday stream before the end of ProQuest season. And Let's before go. Bravo becomes the uh, one and true only best uh, guardian in the game. If you haven't seen the ban and restrict announcement. But uh, we Very are true. going to be playing ProQuest decks. I'm playing my Bravo deck. Steven is playing Icelander, not the Weather Vane list. Which uh, Sag. was sad into Bravo, but I'm sure it still has great merit into the rest of the... Uh, rest of the decks and stuff but uh yeah thanks techlo foundry what's up and we're just gonna be uh doing some Yo. practice here nothing super spicy recently with my list at least uh i am going back to testing tectonic plating over tunic i've been a tunic enjoyer for the longest time uh in the icelander matchup specifically but my friend who also plays a lot of bravo has been having some success with tectonic just uh Given that they can't like respond every single time to the frostbite, and if they do, you get more information than them, uh, it could be relevant. And also, um, the block is of course relevant. But also, apparently, uh, pulverize is good against ice center, according to them. So, we're taking that word for. <laughs> <laughs> oh God, not pulverize! What's up, Joshua like and this. Martin? Hello, everybody. Hope you guys enjoyed oh, I... the uh, rock stream that Steven posted. <laughs> rock um, is pog. Rock is pog. Also, taking out tunic gives me an extra slot. I'm afraid of. I've been scarred by uh, getting paired up into a fatigue dash and losing, so I put one smashing good time in my list instead <laughs> of my <laughs> instead of my tunic. Um, and allegedly or, or theoretically, I think smashing good time could be like not bad versus um icelander just because it's a pump to help you go tall and also you could like threaten an amulet um i don't know if it's like ultimately the best thing to be doing but it's somewhat dual use there uh but yeah that's my spiel we're just gonna be playing some normal games like we always do <laughs> normal flesh and blood normal flesh and no blood. nothing nothing fancy here nothing blah, fancy blah. this time no spice no spice. Uh, energy pot. Oh, what's up, Carlos? I want to know how Carlos. Kano's, I want to know how Kano's been doing in uh, pro quests. Carlos is Omega Kano. He kills me often. It's such a hard matchup okay. as Bravo. So, dudes. Uh, my favorite person. Yes, that's me. Uh, Ooh, top forward. Hell yeah, dude! Congrats. That's awesome. 36. I gotta have the disadvantage. Let's get these frostbites rolling. There's so many things Let's... to tech for in this meta, like ice. So you, most people are probably skimping on the oh, uh, oasis for spites these days. So true. I will go first. Um, We did take out, out muscle to add in another crush the week and uh, Thank God. go back up to another thunderquake red. So... Also, out muscle is anti synergistic with tectonic plating because I can no longer hold one tunic counter up to try to avoid the or try to work around the tax. So we're going to be doing a little bit more traditional go or traditional uh, damage over here. So I do think I'm going to be starting with making seismics early in the game and then later in the game slow down on that. Nice. Priority window already? Um, yeah, priority window already while you have no arsenal. <laughs> <laughs> no, on your turn, I'm going to have an arsenal. I'll just do this and uh, pass to you. Sure. Oh, no. I'll play Scar. Don't look. Scar for a Scar. Pretty good. Mm -hmm. um, we're going to block three, take one. I'll play Scar for a Scar. Oh, my goodness. Take four. <laughs> uh, and then I'll pass. Okay. I will let you respond to Seismic. Hmm. The idea with the Tunic list versus uh, versus Icelander Seems is... fine. Okay, it's fine. Um, oh, no, no, not that. <laughs> now you know I'm not pummeling it, but that's fine. <laughs> I'm going to do this with uh, two floating resources. But, uh, I mean, I can't play it much around it just gotta keep blocking efficiently so i'll take three okay 
pass. But yeah, the idea with the tunic list is we generally are trying to potentially force them into trying to do frost taxes because we can block a lot more and play around a lot more taxes. But with this list, I think you're trying to rush them down by a lot. Um, you talk, you you talk, Jimmy, into going Bolton. I mean, he did good. I think anyway. Yeah, he did. I think yeah. I think he did good with it anyway. Mm -hmm. We're gonna block three and take five. Let's go. I will now play my Zealous Belting. One floating, eh? Yeah. Also in the Tunic list, when you get a little bit behind versus Icelander, you start having to hammer for four holding a card in hand because it's not efficient to, to dominate and then hammer for six because you only float one. But I could at least now Tectonic into hammer for six uh, and float two, meaning if I block two Arcane, that is eight, eight value off two cards, which is not bad. Yeah. Um, a little unfortunate of a hand, but not much we can do here, I think. I could do a little bit of trading, but my life total is actually pretty nice, so I'll block three. Okay, anything Take else? Two. No. Alright, I'll send six. Uh... Then I'll block Add 11 value. Two and four. Nice. Yep. I like I can zoom in a little bit. I will Arsenal pass. Yep. I'm not the best Icelander player in the block, but I will give him a little bit of run of his money by playing my third Scar for a Scar. <laughs> <laughs> um, let's see. What do we got going on? You know, I haven't checked out my tunic this whole time. <laughs> I'm sure it's at three by now. All right, I'm going to try some greed. I'm gonna Nobody watch. Four. Nobody look at my tunic resource. I will make a seismic. Would you like to you respond? No, thanks. It's fine. And then I will just hammer for six. Huh? How is this greedy? Oh, I guess me saying it's... Oh, your camera froze. Me saying it's greedy kind of exposes what I'm actually going to do. But <laughs> on the surface level, is not that greedy. Steven's back. Yeah, I'll just block six. Mr. Weasley very much asleep in my background. Yeah, uh, double you're blocking pummel. six? Yes, I will pummel. Pummeling hammer is, like, not great. I really want to be pummeling stuff that makes you discard. But we'll take it. Yeah. Um. They're gonna pummel again. Why are you keeping so many cards? <laughs> yeah, that's fine. <laughs> okay, go ahead and take your four. <coughs> Excuse me. Okay. Anything before then on my turn? Yes. Oh. I'm gonna ice vein. Oh no. <laughs> yep. I, um, I think I, I, I smelled it. I smelled it now. I remember now. Uh. Okay, Eve. so I know you will be arsenaling a hypothermia. Yeah, and because you know it's not that good. I'm gonna re I'm gonna do this instead. Okay. Because if you know, you just like never play something yeah. that like actually gets caught by it. So it's just better to do this. Ten so damage is ten damage, but is it ten though? Ten is it's so low rate. 10. Yeah. Uh, three cards for ten. That's the same as a red thunderquake. But yeah, it's definitely damage. So I have to determine, I mean, I don't think I have really that many options. I have, I'm going to end up forced into this because it's Maybe just Maybe playing blue. Thunderquake raw? I do or for think three blues. I'm fine to arsenal the Pulverize here, though. Because yeah, or the Pulverize, yeah. It's just one tax, and if I draw enough blues, I'm fine. Would you like to respond? Yeah, if you, if you draw three blues, playing this tax basically means you don't get an arsenal. So I will play it. Yeah, makes sense. Um, I don't really. I, I guess technically you don't know what my arsenal is right now. You have like no real knowledge of it. Ah, that's that's true. So, that's true. So it was there was there was no, never. Well, I mean, you could be stopping tax. It's up to you. Um, that 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 is. You could be stopping something with it. I mean, I'm gonna I'm gonna pretend that I knew. 
because <laughs> you were greedy and kept a bunch of cards in hand. Yeah. And then I was like, if you're not going to double pummel, what else could be in a two card hand? You know? Yeah. What else could so, I be holding instead of just. Why yeah, didn't you take four instead of, of blocking three? You had an extra card for no reason, right? Yeah. So, in my mind. Okay. Let's um, anyways, we're going to probably go ahead and do this. Um, the reason Pulverize is so good against Icelander, aside from the tax being really, or the expense being way too much, is that it does force you to pretty much block with all of your cards, and some of them could be two blocks, which did not happen this time. <laughs> Ten. And uh, if they one, don't want to do four. that, they might, ha they might like have to block with the attack or whatever. So that's something. Yes. But anyways, so I'll we're just drop a on the bottom of the deck, which is not amazing. I'll just keep this here. Is that a frosty? Yep. Okay. So you go back to me. Yep. Uh, we are chilling with a red thunderquake. Red no respondable windows. Yes, red tea quake is pretty annoying. I'm a red tea quake enjoyer. I think I might be overvaluing it recently, but so it has so many applications. I'll take effective four. Uh, makes sense to me. Anything before the end of my turn? No. Okay. I keep not taking up tunic. I should be at two now with this. That's fine. And then let's seven you getting a life. Um, do, 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 do. I will block with plating. Wow. And take five and go to 21. Interesting. I don't feel like many Icelanders are playing Snatch these days. So, <laughs> although I guess, oh, this one specific breakpoint would have put me lower than you. So that's relevant if you have, if you're like in a block with a spirit on this turn, I guess. True. Uh, we're just going to send the hammer for four. All right. Don't have a super good thing. So I'm guessing you're just going to deal more damage here with Pummels and then Heave again. I guess that's all right. Uh, block two. Reacts. Yeah, just a blue one. Just a blue one. I got the sink as well. So I'll take two. Uh, you will take one. Oh, that's a two block. Okay. Yep. Yep. Uh, I'm going to Sigil. Yep. Oh, Sigil as well. And then uh, Arsenal pass. Yeah, Sigil. Yep. I like Sigil. <laughs> hey. Now, what do we think of the bands? What do we think of the bands? Um, my little Briar deck, rest in peace, <laughs> is all I'm going to say about that one. Uh, uh, Whale is very strong. I think like eight. that's fine. Hypothermia is... Oh my god. <laughs> what the hell are you doing over there? Hypothermia is another card. And... Um, what was the last one? Whale, the little hypo whale, the little. What was the other one was like Blizzard or something? Or, uh, was it an ice card? It was another ice card, right? Whale hypo. Now I feel silly because little... we've been talking about it all day long. Yeah, it was amulet of ice. Ah, <sighs> amulet of ice. Yeah. God, God, amulet of that, ice. It's I such think, a good card. I think that makes Bravo like low-key favorite against Icelander nowadays because am amulet being a ch choosing when you pop the amulet is really good versus Bravo. Oh, that's annoying. Uh, I'll go ahead I and pay. I'll pay for my arsenal. Um, But yeah, choosing when you pop the amulet versus Bravo can really help you keep momentum in the right times. You'll so, pay for your arsenal. I feel like Bravo's that's pretty happy so about sad. the bands. Uh, Briar becomes pretty strong because Hypothermia is such a blowout. I think Hypothermia is going to be, or I think Briar is going to be a pretty big contender from the bands. Sounds like I'm going to be blocking this turn. So I'll take two. Uh, I would like to pummel it. Paying three. Frostbite on the stack. Very good. This is good. Um... Interesting. Um, yeah, that's fine. So this is three, or I'm taking four, five, six down to ten. Yep, and then I will hammer for six. Uh, see, this is worth it. Hold on a second. Yeah, now that Phi loses Belittle, he is a little bit more hurt by the Icelander taxes. But oh yeah, you yes. have to discard from Pummel. That's right. Ah, that's that's why. That's why. 
Yes, that makes sense. And that makes then, sense why I was thinking about yeah. blocking specifically. But Phi also yeah. has to sometimes play around like hypothermia in weird ways and stuff like that. Uh, so I think I'm going to keep it just to Waning Munyu for three. So I'll take two and Waning Munyu for three. Yeah, I'll take three. Yeah. Tunic, Arsenal, pass. Okay. Um, okay. That's a lot of pummels that you've played. Did you? Yeah, it is. It's most of them, I think. All the two reds and one blue. Hmm. Shuffling my cards over here. Discard from Pummel. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Playing dead deck. Kick W. Another BNR. Another Lexi getting hit in the crossfire. <sighs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It's not. First of all, you can play this version of Icelander into the PQ season uh, next weekend. Yeah. So it's still a worthy thing to test against you, or basically as. in the DMs. I was begging Steven to play a pro quest deck. <laughs> Because I need practice. Because so I have not true. been, I have been constantly missing out by just a little in my pro quest so far. Two floating. Let's see. How I wanna. I wanna. Let's see how I want to approach this. Yeah, there's I no way go... I can dominate this, and I think giving you a tectonic plating window is just not worth it at this point. Fair. So I need to find another sigil quickly because we're in pretty low life range. Yes. Theoretically, two so, card block this and send it. Send me eight damage and then give me really annoying decisions. Yep, that's that's my idea. Yeah. Um, I could I could steal you one, but I think it it just is that I wish I could just keep three cards. You know what I mean? Three cards is a lot. Um, but yeah, so I'll just take three here. It does look like. Um, I think I'll keep this one. Oh, he blocked yeah. with Frost Sex. Time to pivot to Fatigue. <laughs> oh, actually, you blocked with two Frost Sexes. Okay. So yeah, I, I blocked with two Frost Sex. So you're, I, I'm, I'm playing your pace. Yeah. No, yeah. So I mean, I'm already to so go... low that there's no way pivoting to Fatigue is actually the right thing. <laughs> Seven. Sure. Uh, three, four, take three. Pog. You're Pog. Um, zealous for five go again. That sucks. If you have exactly a fuse, then this is bad. But if you just have a single tax, then I'm pretty gaming, I think. You are pretty gaming, I think. Yep. And my ProQuest results are a 11th and then 4th. And then I bubbled on uh, Sunday at 9th. Very sad. Uh, I think I go like this. Cold snap. I will not pay. <laughs> that makes sense to me. <laughs> Um, then six coming at me. You can't pummel. Um, damn, it sucks having no PQs locally. We only had one PQ within like comfortable driving distance in South Florida, but I drove to Orlando, which is like only three hours from my other two pro quests. Yeah, pretty low, so I can't really block three. Take two, then a four, then six. Then I can't really give. If I had a little bit more life to give, but you've been pummeling a lot, so it's kind of kind of easy play patterns here. Uh, I'll take two. Yeah, I'm not in lethal range for you having no arsenal, so we'll do this. But here's a moon for take three. Three from that. So your go. A uh, tunic arsenal pass. Okay, this is cool. Um let's see. Hmm. Tough one. So I can either Thunderquake you or Rouse. <laughs> <laughs> and since if I rouse you, it's face up. And if I thunderquake, there's no way I would take that risk having a red in hand. I'm just going to show you. What do you think? I, I'm leaning towards what? rouse. Yeah, I'm leaning towards rouse because it's more damage threatened. 
And for you to live through the rouse, you go down a little bit of cards, and then I can reevaluate to hammer after that. But if I send 10, if I did this, you would have to block 7, meaning... So it's you 10 or 13 or something? Yeah, it's 10 okay. or 13, and I have a... And I have a Thunderquake and Arsenal if I do the 13. But okay. I think you might be able to live through the Rouse and then kill me in response to me hammering, potentially. <laughs> I have to think. Right. If you live through the Rouse, it would mean you blocked three and then use Tunic for Iron Ride Gauntlet. Sorry, five, I'll stop shuffling cards. And then you go <laughs> Sorry, to gamers. And then you would go to two and have three cards and an arsenal. And then when I hammer, you probably kill me. So actually, I just talked to myself. I think Thunderquake and holding a blue might be better because the blue is good in arsenal and it insulates me. So after That's I talk to myself a bunch, I think I'm going to do this. That means I like this better for myself because I can block eight, take two. This is ten, right? Yeah. Three, four, five, uh, six, seven, eight. Yeah. And then I pass to end. You're good. Okay. Maybe I should maybe I should just not respect the Icelander. I think that's a mistake I make often. Um I did have the kill. Um if okay. if you did that. If yeah, you did but the, the issue is the issue is now I'm like low again still. <laughs> so I have one sigil in the bottom third of my deck and then one somewhere in the top two thirds of my deck. I could like try to wait around to get to it. And Storm Striders. Yep. And Storm Striders. Yeah. I did have, I actually, mm -hmm. I lied. I didn't have the kill by one resource. Interesting. Um, I would have, I would have had to block out, but if I okay. did have the extra blue in hand, cause I had a uh, two reds in hand, uh, that, then I would have had the kill, but yeah. So the problem is if I start blocking now, let's see, you still have one Wounded Bowl and one Spirit. Well, actually, you have you one want? Bowl, one Spirit. You're out of E-Strikes and Scar for Scars. <laughs> I, did I don't use think I've seen those attacks get pitched, so they're probably still coming up soon. The only thing you did see but... was me E-Strike something uh, random to yeah, the you bottom. Did that bottom you did. That's the only just... information you don't have. Because I could block two, but no. <laughs> block two? <laughs> oh, God, dude. No, I'm leaning towards blocking eight and just block passing. Two. And maybe you have an awkward five card hand, but you do have one amulet up. True. Yeah, Ludiful. That's what I was thinking as well. It probably was more correct on my last turn to, to rouse the ancients and just ha have them not have it. Because at this point, I have to pass and lock myself out of the game. Mm. Unless I can draw sigils and they draw really weirdly. So I, I okay. overthought We're too good. much and probably Rouse was correct. If you're going to pass, then let me know. Yeah, sounds good. I got a really interesting one where you're probably just going to keep blocking out. Oh, that's interesting. Uh, actually. But I'll channel into Fighting Spirit, gain a life. Okay. Um, just finding a way to use my whole hand. If I had a. Damn, if I had a, a my tunic resource up, I wonder if I missed it. I could have even moaned you here. No. <laughs> uh, that's funny. We'll block six and take one. Sure. And then channel. Yeah. And then you're just going to keep passing, and I'm just going to have like kind of free reign yeah. to If I hammer try six, you down. technically you can keep three cards in hand, and I can only block two, so you would only have to deal nine to kill me. So I do have to pass here. Okay. Which means I probably should have maybe blocked one more. I don't know. Okay. I'll pass. Yep. Yeah, I think you're... Hmm. Actually, uh, I think you're dead. Because I oh, Aether Ice Vein... I amulate now. Aether Ice Vein Fuse. Okay. Are you going to pop I the amulets beforehand or something? No. Doesn't really matter, right? Because okay. you can still do two, um, two, six. Like it's actually you. I'm gonna pop him, and like no matter what you lose, you'll have one card left in hand again. We'll see. I'll I'll definitely pop him before I moon my on my turn. That's true. So it's you're gonna. Moon, huh? Yeah. Okay. So. So isn't it better to yellow into ice under since given all the time? It would 
they win. I did block with two yeah. Frost Hex, if that's something that might change your decision on that one. Yeah, so we're going to block three and then take one. And then we're going to pay two, have one floating. Here's that. Uh, we're going to pay two. Uh, two floating. Here's that. Two floating. In response yep. to that, we're going to pay one to cast Sigil. Pay one to cast Sigil. Okay, oh, so, the so you are super dead. <laughs> yeah, but do you have, that you'll respond to Sigil, so I'll pay one for the moon and take one. Yep. And the Sigil will resolve. I'll go to seven and then die on my turn. <laughs> yeah. Uh, and then this doesn't stay. Hey, whoa, what are you oh. doing? What are you doing drawing up? <laughs> uh, Cheater caught got on stream live. Ice Bane. Into One, two, three, four, five. Into Plus Striders, from Ice Bolt. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> GG. I'd oh, live man. if I had an ar a sigil in Arsenal, which would be funny. But you Yeah, that would be early. That would be bad. Anyways, it looks you like Rouse early. the Ancients was correct there. I'll give it another go with tectonic plating. Yeah, if you rouse, slightly worse though. If you rouse, basically, I just have to keep waiting, and I probably block six and then block, take yeah. one, block five on black six on hammer or block yeah. five because I think I had a like a low block. Yeah, the turn and... after that, I actually drew a natural rouse hand that I would have been able to cast if you didn't attack me. Yeah, and I wasn't oh. gonna be able to attack you. Yeah, um, I think I, I think I was gonna block out that turn. If I remember correctly, I think I had three block, three block, three, 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 two. So I had nine, 11 block in my hand. Plus I was going to use, plus I was going to use the gauntlet. So if I block three, six, eight, yeah. nine, and I was at four and you were coming at me 13, I was, it was exactly had give, to give you tunic and i would have got to one purposely to try and send a wooden bullet eight i think that's what i was gonna all do all of the math going over your head right now like in the thanks like in the camera all the little trigonometry and stuff's happening <laughs> this, what is it zach galifianakis that mean yeah. uh from uh, the I hangover no what movie. oh yeah <laughs> the hangover Perfect, we got there. Uh, I think All I'm right, first I'm not a four. Time, so your turn. Yeah, so I get to go first. <laughs> Give me a setup, baby. This is not what I wanted. Yeah, um, the two Frost Texas wasn't really relevant. You're correct. I was way too low to actually fall back to the fatigue game plan. I just kind of forced myself into it because I didn't take a risk. Sure. Um, This hand is very bad. Nice. <laughs> Disastrous, even. Um... Enjoy your turn, sir. I'm going to sigil <laughs> before you arsenal. Ah! Uh, you want to do anything given this knowledge? No. Okay. Sad. Um, well. <laughs> I will make a seismic. Would you like to respond? Sounds good. No, thanks. And then, I will hammer for six. <laughs> not good <laughs> i could show time here but like it still doesn't use all of my uh resources efficiently i guess technically I'll still... if i go seismic showtime heave pulverize it's something but i'll still chip yeah oh we're actually getting mega value because of this so we'll pay three and still have two floating take one mega value okay i'll do this and pay so i'm blocking seven okay nice so yep. we at least get nine nine value out of our or six damage plus three blocked plus one seismic made. But the seismic's probably not gonna be used. Yep. Not the worst Hopefully not. To happen. I would like it if it wasn't used. Oh, okay. uh, your go. You can respond to my seismic. You may go ahead. Okay. Um I will cast Rouse. Revealing a Thunderquake and a Disable. Sad. And I have so many blues to, to protect myself against tax this turn. Mm. I don't think I've ever actually seen The Hangover. I've only seen like infinite clips of it. 
Are you just gonna send like a thunderquake at me? That would suck. More of a pineapple express kind of guy. Whatever, man. <laughs> Lock six. Take one. Okay. Um returns these cards to my hands. Mm-hmm. With my go again, I will hammer for six. Hmm. All right, maybe I have to see what play patterns you give me. I'm going to take four here. Okay. Okay. I'm going to heave the blue Thunderquake just because it's better than leaving the blue in hand. Yes. I'm going to try and play this amulet device and pass. Okay. You can uh, respond to my seismics if you'd like. Mm, no thanks. All right. Now I have interesting decisions. So Thunderquake technically costs me three if I were to cast it right now. And I have so many resources that I think I can afford to be greedy. <laughs> um, Famous last words. Should I? Alternatively, this plan gets stopped, actually. We're not going to be greedy. We're just going to send this, paying three. Okay. Pummel would be annoying. I'll block three. But, like, I can't really stay, like, not <laughs> doing anything to chip you, to not chip you out. That's fair. So it's no big deal. Basically, take that for four. Yeah. Uh, ten, block three. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah. So the reason so. I did this play, you can't, you don't know because my last card in hand is different, but you don't <laughs> know it. But uh, the, I was going to do the card in my hands, but it's respondable and I can always add it to Arsenal and do it later. And if you responded to it, I would have had to pitch my pummel and then end with no Arsenal. And pummeling right. this is still pretty value because I can still do it through one tax. So nice. Yeah. I'm going to send eight at you for the first time here. But it's looking pretty grim. I'm pretty damn far behind. Um, I haven't been able to do any damage. Yeah, since we are this ahead, I think... Grid is always the answer. Gosh, so funny. We take eight. You got it. 34. If you have another go again thing. Actually, let worse. me give you tectonic plating here. Sure. Let's stay too higher. Sure. Um, your tunic is up, so let's just do this. Two My tunic floating. is up, so let's do this. Yeah. That's weird. Since your tunic is up, you can block with Ironhide Gauntlet very easily, meaning my arsenal play is not as good. I can block with Ironhide Gauntlet very easily. Yeah, like you just play, so, you can just pay for it with Tunic. Yes. Yeah. You're such a weirdo. Said, Joshua said your board state's bad right now. How, do, how does that make you feel? <laughs> eh. eh. It is what it is. Yeah. Hmm. It's pretty good. I guess I could have risked making a seismic here, actually, come to think of it. Maybe I should have done that. I don't have peak, so like keeping this hand doesn't matter. We'll just block 11. OK, that's fair. We trade four cards for four cards. Sort of. Yes, that's OK. It's kind of like a one for four, but you go. Um, Not happy with this hand the move it's trying to not die trying move not die zealous that's pretty good yeah you're right it's actually not that bad dumpy you have any responses five no i don't have any responses okay this is where the hand becomes bad <laughs> <laughs> hammer for six pitching my other reds i guess in a tournament setting, uh, i shouldn't say that because you might catch on to the fact that i have a lot of reds in hands and actually <laughs> tax me but most of the time you wouldn't tax me because having two cards left means tax is irrelevant. Most yeah. likely for you. Which we'll is value here. Take some damage. Pass. To send this. Gain a life. 
Oh man, I'm getting punished for my deck decisions, I think. <laughs> for your deck decisions? That's crazy. Like my deck That's building decisions, I should say. Pretty strong wording. Do you miss um out muscle? Is that what you're saying? No, the smashing of time is breaking me right now because it's probably also a punish for my arsenal decision. <laughs> I should have just blocked with my arsenal instead. Maybe. Are you going to block with Tectonic? I guess you just wait. I think we need to do this. Oh my god. Yeah. And then we are going to hammer for four. Try to at least push the chip damage. <clears throat> get to get my arsenal out of there, which nice. is kind of nice. I probably get to... In case anybody doesn't know what Anothos is, anybody coming over <laughs> from the Winter's Whale side of the world, here's the uh, superior nice. weapon. Nice. Cool. Good. So I get to Ice Vein Fuse here. Okay. <clears throat> um, broken weapon indeed. We will... Yeah. Like it's it's a whale that can get stronger, but it doesn't give ice. We're gonna take four right? and then discard a thunderquake, unfortunately. <laughs> uh Moon? Take three or take two, I mean. Sure. You really wanna pummel something, huh? Weirdest looking bow I have ever seen. <laughs> what? <laughs> what the heck? <laughs> That's not wrong. Uh, we're gonna make a seismic. Any response? Uh, one float, huh? No, you're good. Two floats. CNC? Uh, no, no. just uh, six at you. My life total is a little bit more important. Yeah, it's crazy with a couple off turns how much you can, in like two turns of eight power, just effective the six life. Whatever. Yeah, so you want to deal four more? I do not have pummel. Mm, okay. I will sigil. Or you don't want to pummel this. That's the bigger <laughs> question. That's the bigger to tell there. Maybe true. Uh, here's one to build for eight. It's gained six life off sigil. I've only gained two off of my finals. How is that fair? How is that fair, chat? Um. Endgame... He will. Where did the down blade come from? Block three. Take five. Yeah. You got it. Response to seismic? No, you got it. Okay. Zealous at you for five go again. Hmm. This sucks. Um. I think I need to get my. Arm piece value here. Whoops. <laughs> so block five. Okay. We pummel. Okay. Um, I guess no, because like you, you can swing your weapon. It's more did valid. not tax me. Wait, That's are not... we going? To... Sorry, oh, sorry. Yeah, go to reactions. No, no reactions. Yeah, I have no reactions. Okay, I'll hype out during the resolution step then. Oh, yikers. Yeah. <laughs> uh, that was a pretty valuable hypothermia right there. <laughs> I'll pass yes. back to you. <laughs> I'll scar for a scar for four. Okay, uh, no blocks, take four. I'll wound a bull for eight. I will... Total damage off three cards, let's go. Block get. four, take four. Yep. Equalized! Actually, hold on, you're, you're ending with no arsenal? Yeah. Uh, we're gonna block three more. Now we don't have to play around tax. Finally, I will tear us under you. Will you respond? Uh, that's fair. That's very fair. Yeah, this is what I didn't. I didn't want to tear asunder you while you had your uh, ease of access to your arm piece with tunic. Because you just give me two equipment pieces. But I think in the grand scheme, of yeah. Things, I, I just, I just, but, I just tried to get value off of this. But yeah, I think that's what I see a lot. Most Icelanders do, to be honest. No, uh, you can go ahead and think. Yeah, seven. Uh, I'll take one, two, three, four. 
And then I am going to get a cycle in which I feel like these are going to be important for the late game. They were in the last game, so I want to do it again. Uh, but this is damage. Um, yeah, feels a little bad, but it's fine. Okay. So I'll tunic arsenal pass. Hmm. I'm going to... Thunderquake. And yep. Um. Well, I have to try and get some temperonies, right? Maybe. I think I might be supposed to be running a uh, choke slam instead of spinal in this slot versus Icelander because it's you can like dominate it in different scenarios and it's cheaper. I don't know that's true. I'll take seven. Okay. I'll move to end. I'll play Emily Device. Okay. And then I'll raid Aether Ice Wing, yeah. Fusing with Insidious. Fusing with Insidious? Oh no. Basically, I'm trying to buy myself some room to play the Insidious and get you with some back to back Ice Wings. Yeah, that's fair. I'm going to take five and then discard a red pummel for the okay. effect. Sure, what would you do with for one I mean otherwise? I would discard another pummel. <laughs> <laughs> uh I think I'm gonna stop. Okay. There. I think that's alright. Wait, did you just Oh you pitched an amulet that turn as well? Interesting. I guess I think I guess I could have amulated <laughs> I'm gonna split a little, you. A little uh little punish. A little, a little punish. Bit? But now you have the amulet up for later. You can do a double. You can do Insidious plus amulet on a different turn. Instead of like using Maybe. all of them on one turn. I'm going to have to go like this and play the Insidious. I'll still take three. Okay. So, yep. Yep, let's try. <laughs> Basically. It's going to be... A rough finish, if I okay. had to guess. Is it uh, my go? Yes, I just Arsenal passed. Hmm. Hmm. I think this is the most forcing play. I might hmm. take chip damage. But trying to seismic at this point when you have Insidious and Amulet is a little bit sus. And Crippling could very well get stuck in my arsenal for the rest of the game. Hmm. I guess my other option is to underpitch Crippling into Tear for Hammer for 6 and then play the Sigil and Arsenal to Rouse. Which is maybe better. But this is the most forcing. Like you have to block with two cards no matter what. Plus an equipment hmm. if you want to keep two cards. Forcing plays are good. <sighs> yeah, I can't really... Hmm. Also, Arsenaling Rouse when you have Amulet and Sidious out is additionally kind of... Risky. Yes. Yep. Now try and keep an arsenal here. So nine. three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, okay. ten, eleven. I will emeritus into moon for seven damage. I will go to eleven then. Okay. Still s bad. Mm. Maybe it took too much damage to set up this these two babies back out here, but we'll see. We do not have punish for you, unfortunately. Let's go. <laughs> I mean... <laughs> yeah, it could get pummeled, That's... but it's not <laughs> as bad as it could be. No reds left, by the way. And there's no, no reds blue left. in my graveyard. Yeah. 
Hmm. Yeah. Let's try this. I have to be um, a little aggressive. Yeah, we'll blue pummel it. That's fine. We'll sink. So you're gonna take four, one. five, six, seven. Yep, take one. I don't think I can afford arsling this card. Which is okay. really sad that I go down on card value, but I'm worried that it's gonna be bricking me. So I'm just gonna hold it in hand. Sure. Spirit. So we could afford that play because we had sync. I mean, we could either we could have blocked six, six if it wasn't sync anyway, because my opponent graciously told me what I would have looked through normally in the <laughs> graveyard. Um, but yeah, there's spirit for seven. Um, let's see what kind of attacks you have left in the deck. This is your last. Spirit. Should have a few. You're out of bowls, but you have, have a few. One east ice. Actually I have one ice vein left. I have one ice vein left, it looks like. One red one. Nope. One blue one. The only physical attacks you have left, though, are one E strike and so, Scar for his Scars. And oh, then the um, only other Fuse card I have is Ice. I might have, I might have mis-evaluated. <laughs> yeah, but I might have mis-evaluated the potency of the cards in my... Uh, field. Um, but we will like, see. I'm, I'm kind actually... of misevaluated the potency of the cards in my field for sure. Yeah. I just had to pitch a sigil, so there's no way it's going to come back around. Mm hmm. Um, you have very few, like. Yeah, you only have one scar for a scar and one E strike left. That's it for your physical attacks. Yeah. I am still fairly low though. Yeah. I think hammering here is probably correct. Fair. Uh let's block for three and take one. And then I pass the end. Yep, you're good. Uh, we'll go ahead and And then he'll get to see that my arsenal is a scar. <laughs> nice. Um block three, take one. Yep. And then I have an interesting choice here uh, in the card I can play. Um, I have to think about the one that probably saves me from dying. So let's do Frigid, I think. And then I have the option to Tunic to Moon. Uh... It's only two damage. It's more likely that it has more value on my opponent's turn. So interesting. Let's. What do you think? What do you think? You think I should have mooned there with tuning? Mooning there gives me a hard decision because if you moon there, and I go down to two cards on my turn, I hammer you, you for know, six, but I only have two floating. Meaning, actually, I think you can technically kill me. I know what I'm having, Marcel. So you're right. I should moon there. Yeah, I do think I need to block that. I also think you need to block that, which is good by me. Then if I hammer here, I'll have two floating. So you would have to deal exactly 12 to kill me. Um, Which is exactly blue emeritus plus red ice vein. Let's see if you have those left. No. You are out of red ice. I think I have a, I'm out of red ice paint, but I so do have a merit. I probably hammer here. You got it. Can't get pummeled. So I'm trying to set up. But if you some block stuff. six and E strike for seven, then kinda bad. For me. Right. This end game's gonna be really scrungly, for sure. Hmm. But I might have put myself in a really awkward position for sure. I, I'm probably I not going to run Smash in good time against you next game. Put like a choke slam in. I think I have one option.
I think I have one option. Uh, which equals going down to one. Okay. I will pass. Let's try this. It's Aether, Ice Vein, Fused, Gain a Life. Okay. Um, I will pay... So, here's Insidious Chill the Trigger. Insidious Trigger. I have one floating. Do you want to amulet before the Ice Vein resolves? Does it matter? Probably not. Yeah, so no. Uh, I'll pay three for the Insid uh, for the Ice... Uh, actually? Yeah, no, yeah, I pay three for the Ice Vein. So, I will amulet. And then... Paying two is pretty free because it leaves me resources for moon. Uh, I should know. <sighs> kind of how my pitch deck is. Yeah, it is relevant for your fusion purposes. Yep. Uh, I I actually, I think I, I, I think I kind of threw this game. I think I, I, I didn't leave myself with enough reason to kill you here, unfortunately. Um. I am gonna you're, moon here. Yeah. yeah, I just cover it with the two I'm, I'm, floating. Yeah. Yeah, you're filtering at least, yeah. Yep. But yeah, so I think I, I think I, I messed up the, the you game. Have one yellow bit. and one blue ice vein left. I don't think I technically know what your arsenal is. But uh No, I should the blue ice vein I just played. Oh it's the one you uh, just so also you all you have left is one yellow. And I also ideally. don't have the skills of remembering your pitch stack, but I think passing yeah. is pretty safe here. Passing is pretty safe here, he says. I'll just pass, I guess. Yep, I'll play Frost Hex. Okay. Into, if I moan here, I do one chip damage. Yeah, that's true. Um, so let's remember, there's a blue frosting in a two and a half turns. No, but that, that's good. I won't do that. Okay. Uh, I'll just pay one for the Frostbite and pass. Yep. I'll brothers arm you for four. <clears throat> um, but I think I think I I think I uh, I did kind of goof this end game though. I will admit. Maybe I blocked with too many maybe power cards, but I wonder how there was some force blocks, but some that were a little less force. So I guess I staunch to cover it. Sure. Still have no Ice Eternals, and you only have one Insidious trigger, so I'm just gonna pass to end. I think my win con is that you just can't chip me enough. Mm, that is probably very fair. Weird end game. Weird end game. I guess I could make a size but, I can pass, but, but I don't even think that's. Like I said, I yeah, I did, I did mess it up with the the amount of fuse card I have. Um, well, that one turn where I crippling you and you four blocked, I think that had like. I think I had two Ice Eternals, unfortunately. Yeah. Um. I have to find ways to chip you, basically. Right. Which, now that you're out of Ice Veins, all that's left is the... You're out of E-Strikes as well, actually. So the yellow Ice Vein, and then if you have any... No, you're out of Emeritus as well. Oh, Maris as well. Okay, yeah. I think I think I have to concede. I think I didn't. I'm gonna look through my deck. I don't think I left myself enough conditions. Yeah, I don't know. If, uh, because you also only have one Insidious, so you can't even really rip my hand at any point in time. Hmm. Did I? This, that, into that. Yeah, because if you just keep passing, think, yeah, passing's the right thing. Hmm. And then you just dig for your sigil as well. So you're technically at 12. Yeah. You only played two, right? Yeah. But if you ever keep me with three or four cards in hand, I can take the risk to hammer you. Yes. So it's not like you have infinite. Time to set up something if you have anything left. Uh, no, and I also like have no cards left in deck. So like, I'm right. trying to think what I can set up. Um, and it's not good. 
I don't think I don't think there's an end game. I, I think I am gonna concede. Uh, the the only thing I could think of I think was fair. try and set up the the second uh, frost hex down and try and get you some shenanigans there, but. Without Ice Eternal, oh, I could yeah. have done like. If you only have one single fuse card left. No, I have none. I have none. Oh, you really have? Oh, are you only playing two yellows? Yeah, that, that's that's standard Michael Hamilton oh, list. Okay, that's fair. two yellows. Uh, so if you do yeah. see that, you could you could sort of expect it. I don't know. Some other players might be playing a little bit differently, but yeah. Um, I did kind of botch my end game there to be able to do it, so that was good. Um, Wait, I could have. Yeah, and then and then I didn't realize what my fuse was, so I put too much value in the insidious chip. So, okay, sounds good. Sounds good. I'm still so torn on Command and Conquer versus Icelander. Like you have to get really. I feel like you have to get lucky with them arsenaling very rarely. Was, yeah, I should have. I should look to my graveyard a little bit more. I'm not an ice attack. I don't do it that much in TTS because it's weird because the cards aren't right in front of me. <laughs> yeah, I feel the same. TTS. So and, I try to. Uh, Talishar. I also try to remember what I've seen, but it's a lot of cards to remember by name to remember like how many of X card I've seen from my opponent, how many of X card mm. I've seen from myself, stuff like that. Yeah. Um, I think looks like you get to go second. first. Yeah. Yes. Um. We get to leak damage. No! I'm going to tear. It's not that much, though. It's only hammer for five. I assume you don't have a response to the tear asunder. Dude, what? <laughs> I just leak two damage. Like, it's kind of... It's pretty free. And I'm arsenaling a better card. If I didn't have a better card to arsenal, I'd probably try to arsenal the tear, but... I really don't want to use equipment. Like this is not worth saving equipment, but it is sad. It is oh, sad. Yeah, I get to lose one of my attacks. High value cards. Yeah. yeah. I will arsenal pass. And mostly my attack is the most value here. Right. Um I did I, I do have this frost hex early. I'm thinking about if I arsenal it to try and set it up, but doesn't seem right. It does get chipped throughout the game. That can't be understated. But yeah, I think this is fine. Eight. Yeah, I think I'm going to take the eight. Fair. This is not an amazing play, but it's something. Hmm. Do this, revealing a blue choke slam and a red thunderquake. Well, I can keep one play in my hand at least. Um, um, I have one card in hand besides these two. I know. Trying to heave again. <laughs> That's what I'm thinking. <laughs> yeah, and then just block the the Anothos. It's a little bit more value that way. Okay, block three. Can I actually pummel this, pitching the blue? That's interesting. It's better value, I think, than just hammering for four. Hammering for four? Does I have don't a you hammer for arsenal. six? Oh, I, have I to see. pitch the red thunderquake to hammer for six. Isn't it the same value? Um, well, this I guess makes this... you discard. Yeah, I guess so. Yeah. Um. That does hurt. It's 11, right? So, 1, 2, 3, 4, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Discard hypo. No, oh, well, you should take 3 less because of each straight. You're already blocking 3. Yeah, yeah, so I took, oh, um, I was at 34. Time. Oh, okay. Yeah. So I went 3, yeah. 4, 5, I see what 7, you did. 8, 9, 10, 11. And then you discard a hypo? Yeah, and what did you show me? What do uh, I know that you have over there? A red thunder cake? Oh, so you can't even hammer. <laughs> right. Okay, sounds good. 
Yep. I will. I don't think I need to make a seismic because I'll just cast the thunderquake off two blues anyways. Yep. You strike for seven. I'll block three, take four. Sounds good. And then I will thunderquake for ten. Don't have a great hand. Don't have a great, great hand. Um. Just kind of get to this. There's. I wonder if I take one more damage. No, I'll just be more mindful of the action journals just in case. But blocking with the first one here is fine. Uh. I'll also sink. I'll take three. Okay. I'll play hypothermia out and winning when you. I'll take three. Nice. Like Arsenal to see pass. the uh, hypothermia get wasted. Yeah, well, you know, <laughs> sometimes it is like that. Yeah. Let's see. <clears throat> Sometimes it'd be like that. I'm gonna seismic hammer. Uh, well, seismic, I guess you can respond. <laughs> You're good. <laughs> And then uh, hammer for six. Eight. Oh, <laughs> epic. <laughs> Blocking eight currently. Yeah. I have no response to you. Makes sense to me. Roll sigil. Yeah. And then he on my turn, blue thunderquake. Yeah. On my turn, I'll amulet of ice path. Okay. Yep. I could have casted the Thunderquake, but I would have had either Arsenal a uh, blue staunch or blue buckling blow, and I didn't like those options. So like, these results. Yeah. Yeah. Kind Just, of a slow game. Kind of been blocking a little bit. Yeah, they're good. They're good. Sorry. Okay. Um, I'm going to activate Bravo in your response. Going to activate Bravo. I have one floating. No. Okay. Um,. <laughs> we still have a lot to Thunderquake. I don't know. Yeah. I think... You could you could play a lot of other cards, I understand. Yeah. And I don't think... So Crippling costs do three less. So even if I... Even if I, like, tax you for one, it's not that big of a deal. Yeah. Uh, I do get to block this queen cleanly with the stuff that I have available to me. Um... This feels like a misplay on my part with the way I kept cards in hand. I didn't so, feel like seismicking was safe. Wait. I lied. <laughs> this is seven. Um, so I can't really stop it. Because I don't have a sink. I've only seen one, so I can't really... Um, it is random discards, unfortunately, so I can't really guarantee what I'm keeping here. Yep. Yeah. So that that is that is going to hurt. Uh, take eight. Okay. Um. Yep. You can Which just one shuffle can I keep? up and discard two oh. if you want. Amulet and. Oh wow, this yeah. hand is disgusting. Scar for four. <laughs> I will block three and oh, one. <laughs> hey, show me those reds, please. And then I'm gonna make a seismic in response. Sounds good. No, sounds good. Two floating. Then hammer for six. None floating now. Clock six. And then I'll pass. Fighting spirit for seven. Get no life. 
Oh, wow. This is a tough one. Um... Need to do something about the Thunderquake eventually. <laughs> Can't just leave it there. Can't just leave it there. So true. Let's see. How likely am I to get disrupted on my turn? I feel like my turn is a lot of damage, so we're going to take the chances and go to 20. Sure. Would you like to respond to the seismic? <sighs> no. Okay, we're going to start with a Zealous. Okay, so I just have to use the card in my hand. There's no other reason to do so. Yeah. Like I this, do remember with the, the most with the seismic. Damage. No, sorry. Sorry, go ahead. I was just going to say, I, I do remember before we were playing Tunic and Bravo, it does give you a little bit of like mind games with the seismics. Because sometimes yes. I could have blues, sometimes I could have reds. So you can't always call the bluff and you can't always like make the correct decision on resp responding to the seismic. Yep. I will not block. Okay, I have no response. Boop. I will not sink. Okay, so you take one. Uh... Sure, and we'll resolve this hypothermia that I've been holding. <laughs> oh my goodness. Um, I guess that's in the resolution step, yeah. Resolution, so I can't. That's why I took one. Yeah. Yeah. <sighs> okay. I <laughs> I've been so patient. I so I actually have binge. to cho choose two deck, pitch a yellow to play this ice vein fusing with. So it's five. Red ice vein fused with frost frosting. Mm hmm. Um. Pitching a yellow ice made. Yes. I'm going to take five. Whoa! And discard choke slam. Ah, uh, this is a bait. Is the question. Because either way, even if I amulet here, you just can't send Thunderquake for eight with your two blues. There's nothing for me to respond to. Um so it just really takes an arsenal from you, but it also possibly does three damage. You really, I think, I feel like you really want to get that out. So I'll amulet advice. Yeah, you're correct. I will unfortunately discard a pull. Oh! Okay. Yeah, maybe. I don't know what I could have changed. Maybe I should have played the Thunderquake out a bit earlier. I always get in the scenario where I arsenal a blue and it ruins my like next couple sequences. Like the seismics were useful to dominate the crippling there, and I got cards out of your hand, but you recouped a lot of that value. Mm -hmm. Yep. Already. So I could take eight, deal four. Actually, I get to deal I get to take six. I I get to take six, deal four. Uh, I think I'm losing for sure on this game. Then Arsenal, and then throw another Ice Vein at you, and then Arsenal an okay card? I wish I could Arsenal this card. So, either way, I'm not going to be able to get like turn-to-turn -turn value unless, unless I Arsenal this. That's the only way that I can get good turn to turn value um so that is that is a thought i, I think I, I i always i always for sure for one um but now i have to think which card is just more valuable to put an arsenal after i ice spin you so that's going to be the hard thing here cuz you're going to you're going to be two cards and then if i if i set it up how many Ice Eternals do I have? Could look to get you with some of that. I have two left. Um, yeah, I'm going to do the greedy play because I can't do the... So, I will get to deal you four, block three, take two. I mean, take six. Did you also play the Frostbite? The Frosting? The Frosting, yeah. Yeah, I have okay. to, to be able to win. Okay, so I go to 11. One, two, three, four, five, six. I go to nine. Tunic to one, Aether Ice Vein Fuse, oh, yellow one. 
using with a ooh frost tux. Okay. Yeah. So that was the, my choice was either that or put ice bolt in arsenal. So I chose this because I couldn't get value off of like the third resource. So I wanted to try and get value by. So I'm gonna yeah. take three and pay for the ice vein. Interesting. I have definitely missed my opportunity to get tectonic plating value before I'm in lethal range this turn, which is a big misplay. Right, right, right. I'm gonna send five at you. Let's go again. Okay, as I say that, I have value to use my brother in arms that I have available to me. Uh, so that is annoying. Um, that is really, really annoying. I don't want my opponent to get value off of. Okay. Actually, I can be really, 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 really. I'll take five. Okay. I know it's a frost hex, so I can't die. You can't die. Well, you would have to have Dang exactly, it. if you have an ice eternal in hand, You'd have to pay. Yeah, because I can block. I can block three like this. Yeah. Um. If I did this and you had an ice eternal in hand, you would play the frost tex, and then pay one for striders. And then you could only ice eternal for x equals one because you'd also have to fuse it, so you wouldn't kill me with that. So this is fine. I can't die right now technically. I'll do this. Put my arsenal down. Okay. <laughs> oh, that's kind of interesting. <laughs> I wonder uh, if that take... was your plan the whole time, if you should have just done it on the Zealous. Um, probably it's, true, probably I don't know true. if you can use... Well, you have Scarf. But I wanted to stuff mind like game you as well. So. Yeah. That's fair, that's fair. So, so I am going to do a volley of attacks here. So I'll go five, go again. Okay, I guess we get our tectonic plating one of values, I guess. Eight. And then... Yikers. I'm dead for sure. <laughs> yeah, this is sad. That blue thunderquake was such a bad thing to Arsenal, I'm pretty sure, in the grand scheme of things. Right. And then you decided to crippling. And so Yeah, well <laughs> maybe I, I think I you also so and we can say you did miss one health in tectonic here. I don't know if that would matter in this current scenario though. Okay. Yeah, my only out is to go to do this, and then uh, have you draw no arcane spells, and maybe hammer for four matters. I'm I'm dead in like so many ways right now that <laughs> we will just do this. Oh, so you're so you're showing your whole hand? Yeah, I'm literally. Yeah, I mean, I even if I pass the end, you could kill me in some certain scenarios. So. Like, oh, okay, sure, sure. My only out is for you to literally draw the most brickest hand of your life. Yeah, so I do have exactly six, so you can't do anything. Okay, I had Frost X. I actually was going to be like, oh, you pass. I'm Frost oh, X, and then my turn. I still have some attacks. I could have wounded bull you. Yeah. But I was going to set up a nice card and just going to like chip you down that way. I don't like Pulverize at two. <laughs> what time is it? Oh, 545. Okay, we've been playing like yeah, we got, these. We still have... Uh, we've been playing pretty fast. Yes. At least you understand. Like, Okay, so that the, the Thunderquake play was a bit odd. Yeah. I was trying to be more I was I was salty about my loss the last game, so like I was play, being more mindful of using my resources. Oh, that's good. <laughs> so unironically adding red crush the week because it's a cheap attack that I can pummel and make you discard stuff with. Uh so, you go first. Yeah, time? wouldn't because E strike would deal one. Um so right, so if you block two earlier. Oh I see. That's interesting that it didn't matter in that specific scenario. Huh. That's... You're right. What? Mathematically correct. I I'm just a little baffled by that mathematical certainty. Of what? That if you block with t uh, plate earlier and gotten that two life off of it, when East strike came in for five, you would have blocked three plus one. And you still would have taken one, so the damage that you didn't but I would be too light higher. earlier. <laughs> yes. 
Marco's wrong. It's not like E-Strike has a relevant on hit that I was stopping. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know either. Never mind. I'm fried. I get to go first. Yeah. I have to say, I, I probably still have to get used to it, but I miss my tunic. <laughs> All right. We got an early, early boopus. So now we get to chip you throughout the game. Annoying. Um, the question is... Yes. Okay. Yes. Yes. Let's see. Hmm. Going to Seismic? Yeah. And then Hammer for six. That's what I like to see. Block three. And then pass. Poggers. Just on value. pure value, I probably shouldn't have. To, I probably should have just cast <laughs> my arsenal card, but whatever. Scar. Um. Take four. Highest vein fuse. Gross. Yeah, I know. Oh. Ice under going to one means everything take turn. One. Take four. Ice under goes to one means everything takes turns so much value, and that the two damage was used to pivot with the card instead of preserving life, but probably. Wrong. Mathematically, life-wise, wrong? I don't know. Anyways, that game forward. that game is in the past. I am now in the future. You have free reign to respond to my seismic, good sir. But you blocked in a way that it seems like you did not care, so you can go ahead. Um I in fact, I know you did. We're gonna do this Can't. and just pay six. No. We're not. You didn't see this. We're going to dominate. Any response? Help. I'm sorry. I Help. know now you have like extra information, but... Help. If it's I a don't double tax, do. I accept my fate. No, double tax are not normal. But, yeah. Double tax are not normal. Arsenaling uh, Terra Sunder is not good when you don't have Tunic. I always forget that. This is... Kind of good for me. So, go ahead. I'm going to get so much value, but I'm going to use my, my armor pieces very early. I will admit. Yeah, I wanted to be uh, greedy and just arsenal my Terra Sunder, but it's so bad, I think, when I don't have Tunic. So, we'll be blocking eight and dealing you three here, basically. I'll pay one, take one, and then I'll take yep. one to the frostbite. And I'll take three. So your dominate effects are going to be pretty potent now. But... Yeah, but you can hope to stop them with taxes. What are yes. these bricks, dude? I can't do anything. I get to play this arsenal <laughs> pass. I'm going to make a seismic. Any response? <laughs> no, because you bricked. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to show time. Showtime. Um, you trying to heave here means that you want to keep cards, right? Yeah, you're not you... trying. You're not trying to hammer me. I think. Well, I can't hammer you because Showtime doesn't have go again. Oh, so it's always heave. So yeah, it's if I or sigil, theoretically. So if I send stuff at you. Or Sigil, you're right. So you're trying to set up a big attack, huh? Huh. I feel it's like it's not going to be block. worth it because I could have done the same thing with one less card and I just make not make a seismic, but like maybe it's better than hammering for six. Okay, so maybe I do this, 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 and this. Okay, I think I'm gonna I'm gonna blast at you for a little bit. Um, because I still get two chip right now, so four, five, six, seven. So technically, now I get a lot more value since my last card is a blue and I have floating resources. I can just yep. search something that's not a heave, and I'm going. Oh, to I see that. what I see. What you mean? 
if you don't deal arcane damage to me, I waste two resources. But if you deal arcane damage to me, you can also. Oh, wait. so I see. So wait to see what you get. Yeah. I guess. And then I, I guess you always get end, something, and then you do something. Yeah. Yeah. So if I don't do this, what like what would you get? Like you're right. If you I think don't I should do that. I'm pretty sure I'm greedily getting a pulverized because I'm not in a like strong <laughs> position right now, and I need to deal a little damage. <laughs> Yeah. So we're gonna do that, and then I punish you for getting the pulverize by doing the seven damage. I see. So you either. So this goes to my hand, and then yeah. I say move to end. Yeah, and then I waiting moon. So, so I, I can seven. at least block two, take two, and then the uh, resources I think are better used for heave. So we're gonna take three and heave. Yep. Uh, so I no frost bites at least. Yeah. So I do have a lot of room here to set up a, set up a second frost hex, which is kind of nice. Interesting. Uh, don't don't gain a life. I'm actually happy about that. Would you like to respond to these guys? Not at all. Okay. Not. Oh wait, do you get to draw a card and? Yes. Seismic surge. No, not at all. Okay. I'm I'm gonna lose some tempo here. I will be here. drawing a card. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Go ahead. Um. All right. Losing well, a lot of tempo here. Uh oh my goodness. Are you wait are you worried about the hypothermia in Arsenal? Wait, do I know that you have a hypothermia? Did you fuse with it? Or you something? don't you don't you don't oh, know. Oh god. <laughs> I really am gonna Is that is that what you were like I thought it was that's what you were oh godding about. about. I, get, I get so blown out if you have that because I really want to cast Rouse the Ancients. I thought that's what you were oh godding no about. There's no way I play around it. No, I'm not playing around it. I'm gonna get so punished though if you really do have it. I don't have it. You're okay. good. You're good. That makes me very happy. So now, <laughs> oh no, that would have been so horrible. <laughs> I, I hyperthermed you Disgusting. like twice. You have really good times yeah. in, in in the past most few games. Most don't. Most Icelanders don't arsenal hypothermias. Even though it's um, like value, it's that like you gotta be it takes a lot of patience. Yeah. I think I'm going to take a lot of damage to try and deal you some damage. Um, My Pulverize does cost six, so... Yes. I'm a little bit... Could be tight here. So, like I said, I'm going to take a lot of damage. <laughs> Works for um, me. Three, six, seven, eight... Nine, ten. I just I just can't block a lot, so I think I, I should just leverage that value and then like I don't know. Yep. So it's it's gonna hurt a lot because these are gonna be like low value if I attack with them anyway. So I'll have to take two. Okay. Yeah. I'm very glad you didn't tax me. I will be keeping a card in hand, and then I'll send this paying six. It's kind of a miracle. I feel like I uh, yeah got out of this kind of scot free. <laughs> Yeah, take 14 so that I can do a lot of damage in return. Like that's what I'm that's what I was thinking. So oh, I get to a, a, a th well, you get a frostbite. Four. Oh, you're doing it. Oh, I see. You're doing it up before the end of my turn. Yes. Uh 5. So I go to 20. So you have do you have this at hand? Yeah. I go to 20 and then take two frostbites. Yeah. So it's still not terrible. Still not terrible. I'm only four life behind, so I don't yeah. feel too bad. That was a good equalizer for me to Okay. For sure. I'm gonna activate Bravo. You have a response. Sure. I have one floating. No. No. Okay. Yeah. Crippling. Crippling. What can I do? What is the if I I Dang, can't I've been take forgetting to block with tectonic again. <laughs> <laughs> have you actually attacked me that much? Uh only once actually. A little. So far. Literally a little. only with the one scar for scar. What did I put in Arsenal? Right. Uh, unfortunately, you got the, the Spectrum that I was not wanting you to have. If I take 11 down to 3, no, I can't. Uh, sheesh. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Okay. You can discard as you wish. Yep. Well, randomly as gonna... you wish. Damn, is this... Why is this not... There we go. Who... Okay, pass you. You're passing back to me? Mm-hmm. Okay. I'm going to zealous at you for five go again. One floating. Disaster strikes again. 
but at least I have a defense reaction. Uh, so no blocks. I'm gonna pummel it, pitching a red. <laughs> because you want to try and kill me. That's yeah, fair. Kind of gross. I mean, it's also the only thing I could really do on my turn, theoretically. Oh, what? Oh, I see. You didn't I, have another yeah, blue. I couldn't hammer. I mean, I could have cast my arsenal card instead of playing the Zealous, but sure. this is more One, damage. Two, three, four. Yeah. Also, the discard that hurts. is pretty cool. Discard is pretty cool. Wounded bull. Yay. Womp womp. Armor value. <laughs> um, We're going to do that. And this. Take three. Three. Yep. Yep. Looking tough. I'm going to choke slam with two floating. Mm -hmm. Two floating? Yeah. That means. Could mean a, a number of things, actually. Could mean a number of things. You do have sigils that I know because of your deck list, and you haven't. How are there eight cards in your discard pile? This has been a very fast game, I think. This has been this has been a very fast game for sure. Um, also, like the combination of this being like me drawing big attacks and you playing two frost. Well, I guess one of your frost decks was turn zero, but you did take an off turn to play the other frost decks. The the other option in my hand was not nothing else. It was wasn't. It's not like I could have played an attack instead of frost. It's, it's not no, that I made that fair. specific choice. Like it was, it was my only like, option. It was it was my only option. Um, I could have. No, really, I could. It was just after stopping your turn, the turn. I don't remember what I did that I, that let yeah. me keep three cards. Uh, just like playing the frost hex was just the other the only other thing. Um, but then after that, I couldn't get anything going. Like getting you to pay for extra stuff here until I could. Um, yeah. Kind of capitalize on that situation, unfortunately. These are the only, um, the only. It just feels to me like the only times I win as Bravo are when I high roll and Icelander mid to low rolls. I have yeah. not gotten a handle on this matchup. Feels really bad for how popular Icelander is. Yeah. So I'll have to block for eight, and in the defense step, I have to play this hypo out. Okay, and that's fair. Just to tax me. Just to not to isolate from you playing pummel. So. Yep. I have at least two resources for the frostbites on the end of my turn. <laughs> Excuse me. Yep. I'll pass to you. So now you draw the. Although, maybe now you draw the go again thing, right? Because because uh... it was your rouse hand and you had a pitch deck or zealous. No, this isn't a pitch deck, but. But I like now you have to play like, around pummel still. It's I like see, but I, I I die to pummel no matter what. Yeah. Like, very unfortunately. Like, very, very unfortunately. Hmm. There's not much I can do in this situation. I guess I'll look through my opponent. No, there's no pummels in there. There's like eight cards. There's one red one. <laughs> what a weird game. <laughs> yeah, what a weird game. Uh, but I think I do take the L here. There's... I think I used. You didn't see any insidious chills early at all. I wonder if I should have taken that crippling crush damage. Oh wait, was that it? Was the did I protect my life total really hard to play from that crippling crush to play the save? No, I think I sent wounded bullet you after that crippling, didn't I? I don't remember. I think it was amulet. One, the, the crippling I, that you I ended up discarding from, you just passed because you held a card in hand. I remember that, actually. Yeah, but the one that I used all my armor on. Oh. Early on. I don't I was remember. trying to think what I did there. It depends. Uh, if it was for sending an 8 attack, I think On that one, I five. think you did, like, a ice... I think I had two Frost Hexes out, and you played um, Frosting and and uh, Waning Moon to give me two Frost Bites to chip damage. Was that the same turn as yeah. that? Yeah. Maybe. Maybe I should have just... I don't know. I have to look back. Yeah, but using my armor early really hurts. Like it, it does not help me in the situation at all. Very true. Um, but I can't. I'm trying to think if I can play around pummel, but I can't. And you probably have it. So I think this one's a wash here. Yeah, 
And you're at too high of a life total. Yeah. So you'd I, be I having just, the fumble. I do should be dying. Yeah, and then you can just like Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I could have pitched my red to hammer for four. <laughs> hammer for four? Damn. Yeah. Um, let's see. Damn. The one pulverize was like interesting. <laughs> it actually worked that game. But I could have got really blown out in multiple ways, so that was probably a very stupid risk for me to take. <laughs> Potentially, let's take scary, out the scary. red choke slam and add in the red crush the week to be. Yes, Jacob. We all, we all, we just keep 50 50 in this matchup. Yeah, we'll just keep it out throughout the night. Yeah, um, I think I went first that time. I think oh, I went first. No, you went first because you played I, Frost I played X turn zero. T one Frost X. Yeah. All right. Um, well, no, uh, this isn't really I guess I'll dominate a buckling blow. Oh, nice. Let <laughs> me take two. All Arsenal pass. Yes. Not bad, not bad. Um Wounded Bull pitching. I don't know. Yeah, eight. Hey. So I'm gonna take up I wanna play webcam just so I can remember to take up my tunic resource. <laughs> That's fair. Um we're taking eight. Well, that kind of hurts. Five go again at you. Stop. Uh... <laughs> Please. Please. Ah! <laughs> Five. Okay, no response. Great. I don't have hypo this time. <laughs> That's good for me. Six at you. Black three. One, two, three. I will sigil. Anything before then on my turn? No. My oh, turn's gonna be amulet pass. Okay. okay. Um We're fine. Choke slam at you, two floating. <laughs> Four <laughs> more. Uh got to cycle. Two floating. One card, one card hand plays are not good. Well, block six. I have no response. Woo! I'm gonna sigil. Woo! And pass. Saved. Get to seven this. Um, I also mi I'm missing one cold foil frost hex. What a disaster. Seven. Hey gamer, do you want to give me your tectonic plating? Nah. <laughs> Oh wait, actually yes. <laughs> <laughs> My instinct is that you were giving me bad advice, but it was good advice. <laughs> oh, seven. <laughs> That's funny. I'm gonna oh, make a man. seismic. Do you have a response? I do not. And then I'll hammer for six. Block three. No <laughs> reactions. Yeah. Yeah? No, I have not. I have nothing. Okay, here's. Okay. Let's get that out of here. Nice. Fighting spirit. Oh wow. Ooh. Um Staunch Valley though. Wow. 
Wow. <laughs> what are you worrying about? This, my hand is so interesting. I, me too, Steve. I need one coal foil for us. Really, we're both in this. I, I have two. I have two. And I have three amulet of ice. I have only two promo polar blast. Uh, let's see. I don't have any promo Take three. brothers in arms. I want to I wanna get some promo brothers in arms up in this house. Uh, for show. I took three. Okay. Help. Okay. Any response to seismic? No. Thank you. I'll pitch two reds to crush the weak. <laughs> what the? <laughs> what the? <laughs> It's like such a he risk can if he attacks me. My hand is my turn's literally over because I can't do anything he, at all. He can do that. <laughs> what does this do? Look at this. Can't I calculated play. the correct numbers. I blocked three and I attack for seven, so I get ten oh, value out of my hand. I got so much value. <laughs> Emeritus Moon. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four. Oh wait, I get I, I get I get less value off of my disgusting out of my wait a minute. Horrible hand. I get less oh I don't I don't sorry, one, two, three. I don't block. Oh, okay. Because I get less value out of my wonder ball. <laughs> oh, that's funny. So you see attacking uh, we'll for go to twenty, I guess. Yeah, because I get to put a car cell, so it's we're chilling. No. Do this. Hypothermia, please. Revealing these. You only need to reveal this one, right? <laughs> yeah, you're right. <laughs> <laughs> you're so... Flex moment. So, you... so I used to revealing multiple cards. Revealing 22 total damage to my Rouse the Ancients. Ah, man. Are you going to be able to... Pitch to hammer... And then heave? Oh! Potentially. If you don't tax me. Like... These two are blue. Oh, true. Yeah, if I don't tax you. My other one is a blue. If you tax me, then different decisions will be made. True. I think I will take seven. One, two, three, okay. four, five, six, seven. But I will do something in the resolution step of this. Go for it. It's not hypothermia. Uh, but I wanted to take the damage so that I can aether hail you. And to end, gain um, life. <laughs> Basically. Do so you know about the pulverize? All I know is about the pulverize. And I was thinking that you could hammer. I, 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 could, I could reasonably think the other two hand are blue, and you were attempting to hammer and heave it. So. Yeah. Um. So now you get to make a size, just one seismic and arsenal the. I guess you can do other decisions. <coughs> I don't want to um, give you a opportunity to interrupt my pulverize, and uh, based on my prediction skills, I hope I draw four blues. <laughs> so I'm gonna pay two for your uh, aether hail. What about ice me? A wedding moon. Uh, I'm gonna take three, and then I'm gonna right. hammer for six, paying for the frostbite. So you know I have a pulverize, but you cannot respond to anything. True. If I draw. 10 resources, I'll be able to cast said pulverize. That means that if I mess you up by taking six. And then fusing shit on your turn? Yeah, that'd be really bad, right? Yeah, it probably would be bad. <laughs> <laughs> Please don't. <laughs> Otherwise, I'm confused. Uh, let's see. Five. Got a play set if you want them. Oh, are you talking about Frostbite. Brothers in Arms? I actually getting punished. have a, a, a LSS stamped world championship brothers in arms blue. Oh, so poggers. That is a bit poggers. I have a few LSS stamped cards in my five deck because I dropped a five for worlds. Uh, and then I dropped, hmm. so I didn't do the other draft, which I should have done because I am a big fan of these LSS stamped cards. I'm going to pay three. Yeah. And discard. Hmm. Take two. I know for a fact y'all have pulverized down there. If yep. I amulet vice right now, you just get to hammer for four. What is what what room does that really leave me? It doesn't leave me room for much else. I think I'm in a winning position just by 
continuing my life here. Okay. Uh, I will be making a seismic because I know your arsenal currently is just a normal ice card. Correct. I assume you don't respond to it. Uh. No. And then hammer for six. We'll take three here. Anything else? Nope. Okay. Turn to three, Scar. Um, one, two, three, four. Oh, you look so funny oh, right now. <laughs> <laughs> um, funny, actually. And then we waiting moon for two. Because your single fraud, your single tax on your turn is going to make it cost twelve. Take two. Oh, so is, is it going to make a tussle? Exaxes? Yeah. Send it at me? Well, it'll be 11 after seismic. Okay. I could actually still die, though. <laughs> if you draw, like, uh, I don't remember what card that is, but. Uh, I'll, I'm thinking about this. Yeah. That card is still the same one that you fused with, right? Yes, it is still frosting. We both know our optionals. Okay. Information is so yeah. beautiful. Revealing so, cards is so good. Yeah, so you can deal nine. Wait, you you killed your channel wave. Oh. You can deal nine to me, but if I have four blues, well, max a nine if you have a five cost in hand, five. Uh, I think you have to have four blues. Hands, but I think you because you I took live. two off my moon. Like I gleaned that information by sending moon at you. Yes. Um. Uh, Makes sense to me. Because you really do not want to. <laughs> you really do not want to. Um, so I'm thunking here. What if I striders just to give you a crossbow? <laughs> <laughs> I mean it's interesting. I think we are It's very interesting. In a, we're playing a game of chicken. Yeah, we're playing a game of chicken. I think we're in a uh Kind of a wash situation. So, but if I don't send it now, here's the thing. If I don't, if my idea is to send it anyway after you do it, I think I have to send it now to deal you one extra damage. So I think I will. I'll frosting you. Um, I... Will actually pay, I think. Oh, changing your mind? Oh, well, I can still cast it. So basically, if you tax me further, it doesn't matter whether I paid for this or not. Because oh, okay, I will I never be able to cast it. But yes. in this scenario, I can... This is the best because if you do want to just four card block me, I would have wasted one resource. Right, right, right. So... If you're taxing me extra, there's no way I can cast it, so I might as well just block this one and use all sure. my resources preemptively. Sure. Anything else? No. Yeah, so this costs me 10, 11, 12, and back down to 11 because of this. Mm -hmm. Pitch, 9, mm -hmm. and have none mm -hmm. floating. <laughs> yeah. Uh, you're, you're so right that I can't kill you. Um... You can put me to one, but it requires using striders and uh, it does require using striders. Taking a lot of damage. Yeah. So I think I'm gonna try and but this is already a good arsenal card, is the <clears throat> So I get to kinda like dig for something to do. No, an attack doesn't do it here because I'm gonna get hit for by this no matter what. So I just block the most amount of damage that I can. So what does Crown of Providence digging do exactly? What does that get if me If you're towards? blocking with all of your cards, you might just be trying to change a two block into a three block. No, no, I can't do that. Oh, wait, no, yeah, you're this happens during the defense. Yeah, at the so what I'm trying to do is block with two cards, moon you for three, arsenal a card. Mm. So I'm trying to think what am I digging for Ar to Arsenal at this time? Gotcha. I could be trying to get like 
Emeritus, uh, Blue Ice Bean works like fine, but it, I, I hate working with like no information, unfortunately. Um, with what? Like minimum information. Like if, oh, if, yeah. like if I block, I'm probably blocking like this. I think this is my block card. Um, and then I can decide if I want to crown. Mm-hmm. Um, and then if I crown something away, so you're going to go get... to one? Uh, no, I also have sync. So oh. I'm so I'm thinking about like crowning one card, and then if I don't like it, syncing maybe into another card. Uh, but your conundrum is whether or not the card you're going to arsenal already is just fine enough. Yeah, exactly. If it's just fine enough. I think the best thing I could get is blue Aether Hail. What happens but if I you literally... draw into an attack and then another attack? Are you screwed? Yeah. Kind of? Have no, not sp- really. Not really. I can just arsenal it. Um, and then I've got two here. scars, one bull, and one e strike left. I guess. I guess getting it isn't Six bad. Attacks. You're you're kind of right. If I get an attack, it's not that big of a deal. So I will uh, do that, and then I'll sink, and then be happy with card. Okay. Uh, you're going it's to a little. Five. It's a little clunky. It's a little scrungly. Uh, but I'll put you to I'll put you to six. Okay. So I'll tunic, arsenal, pass. All right. So it did deal you one more damage to make you pay for the frost. So that's fine. Okay. We are in a we live in a society. Yeah, we live in a another situation where I have to disrespect lethal as my only out. So you have three resources. It's especially yeah. bad if you have if you confuse an amulet before the fuse happens, then I'm super dead. Yeah, I guess I can. I well, I've already seen two sigils, so it's not like I can try to dig to live longer with another sigil. <laughs> uh, I'm, um, so, I'm such a doomer about this matchup. I definitely don't play it correctly. I think I'm kind of in. I'm kind of forced here, but like you're also in like a in a, in a kind of like scenario in a society. All Arsenal pass. Spirit. For seven? Yep. So you do have one sigil oh, left. And you gained life. Damn. I gained a life. Let's go. Um will block six. I'll take one. Alright. I'm gonna make a oh, You make a size. Kind of would like to turn on the hammer for six. I don't know if that's correct. Maybe it is. That gives me a lot of information just you saying that. Because oh, if that's you, true. If you just sent four, I still have to think about your. You know what I mean? Yeah. If I just send four, you can potentially give me a card, and then if you have scar for scar into another attack, then I'm punished. Oh my goodness. <laughs> I hate this end game. It's disgusting. I'm going to make a seismic. Would you like to respond? No. And then I will hammer for six. So, two float. The, the prodigal two float. Hmm. <sighs> How would I play this? It's really tough. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I think I will be very sad about my uh, tunic resource here. 
but I, I think I think I, I just have to force you in like, scenario. Does it work the same way if I just do this? Hmm. Or do I block like this? Hmm. Am I getting lucky no. and you don't have lethal on me or something? <laughs> yeah, you are. You are getting pretty lucky. Yeah. So, so I have to, I have to Based. do, I have to do plays to to make myself be able to be put in a position to find lethal. So, I'm blocking for three like this. I have no response. Wait, that's wait lethal minute, currently. Hold on. So you got to hold on a second. Yeah. <laughs> hold on a second. I did the math incorrectly. Oh, three. Okay. Four, five, six, seven. I thought I was going to keep the scar for scar in hand. Um, God, I wish. Oof. I, I guess I can. I just want. I just want to send the fighting spirit. Oh. I was trying. To, I'm trying to see if I can send the fighting spirit. Um, but I think I just have to send scar. Hmm. Yeah, I just have to send Scar. Are you also trying to play around Pummel or something? Yes. Oh. So I just have to do this and then react. And then, yeah, I have no reactions. And then do this up to eight. So even if you have Pummel, like I still yeah, live. Yeah, that's fine. I'll Arsenal pass. So I just send Scar now. Okay. Okay. Interesting. Now I have my tunic for my. Iron hide, I guess. Hmm. I want it. No, I think I think um promo brother and arms are kind of expensive, so it's fine. I have a Spanish I have Spanish energy potions. The disrespect will need to continue. I'm gonna take the <laughs> I haven't been able to kill you, so like you're, yeah. you're like you respond to seismic. <clears throat> no, no response. You said no. Okay, you have all of the information you could ever ask for. <laughs> Here you go. Okay, I, no, I think I, thunderquake was a blue, but I think I, do, I think I do kill you then. Yeah. Uh, let me math this out. Otherwise, I just hammer for four, and then you say, "Okay, haha, block with Ironhide." Go to one, then do Wait. something disgusting to me with four cards. Do I not kill you? Four, five, probably six, kill seven. me after I, uh, I hammer you for six. Actually, <laughs> right, right, right. I right. don't hammer and just heave my thunderquake because you can't respond to me heaving. That could be the that could be the line. That could be the line. Hmm. <laughs> this is this is a very interesting end game. So think big Tonkin. Every time so opponent I... doesn't immediately kill me, I'm like <laughs> lucky, <laughs> lucky, better lucky than uh, good. So I can do, I can do. No, I think I, th I think you're dead. I'm tr sorry. I'm trying to think, and I think you're dead. I'm I'm gonna do it because we're five minutes away. If I Striders this Aether Ice Vein infuse and then pop Amulet, you die, right? In response to you popping Amulet, I would probably discard the Thunderquake, pay three, take one, and then die to. Wait, too many okay good good okay my bad my bad yeah because i couldn't <laughs> if i pitched two instead of discarding yeah. it, then it's it's even worse so it's even worse okay so uh, I sorry know. i was trying to math the seven but it was <laughs> it was fine. the red in hand the other one yeah. would be the other option that i was thinking that it was a little bit more i think i'm gonna funny, go back to tunic in this matchup <laughs> was blocking blocking oh this was probably like this because this was in hand Blocking five and see what you do. Taking two and see what you do. If you heave, 
I'm on my turn, I get to Ice Vein you and Arsenal the Aether Hail. Oh, yeah. So I don't even need to use Striders. Yeah, there's. Yeah. Um, but if you hammer me, then you die. So I think I was still in a good position there. That's what. I, that's why I was thinking about the other play because I thought that you mm-hmm. weren't dead here. So with, like with the resources in hand, but the Amulet of Ice being on board, just what this this card is banned for a reason. I know, dude. Dude, First imagine I didn't have that card in the deck. Like, God. I, I only good. won because of this. It's always a one-for-one one trade, but you get to choose when is the best time to be a one-for-one one trade. Yeah. For the low-low It's low, not like you cost. get to choose every single time, but yeah, all you have to do is fuse. All I have to do is fuse. That is, that is, a, that is a cost. I have to yeah. set it down. It has go again, which is one of the things that was said in the article. It has article? Article? It has go again, so it's easy to just place it down and place something else down, especially as a turn one play. Putting an amulet and then like a frost hex or an amulet into insidious on the first turn is like such a huge setup. Yeah. Huge. Um, yep. But now Ice Ender has to rely only and then you don't get to decide when it's best to do it. Like, yeah. You don't, it's not a mind game with your opponent when insidious is going to trigger. Mm-hmm. It always will trigger as soon as I fuse. But if I have amulet on board and i fuse i can wait till all everything else responds and based on how i feel i can yeah <laughs> amulet or not insidious is so strong like it's true me but wrong. it's more of a it's it hurts more to play it down because it costs three i believe i put this amulet down by blocking with the rest of my three cards and just placing it down mm-hmm. I, I think that's what happened I, I i blocked um it was a i blocked five and then three took three off whale uh, anathos played it down pass yeah I should have taken if if it were insidious, I would have which actually was in my hand, I would have had to take in three more damage off of, off of Anathos just to play it down. Mm-hmm. Which huh, I wonder if that was good. <laughs> I wonder if taking what is it? Six, seven, eight damage that turn just to play Amulet Insidious was good there. I don't know. So preserving life is too important, I think. Yeah. Um but yes, I think I had that game. You did end with three sequence. life still on your equipment, at least. So, as well, yes. So I think I still would have because of the sequence that I had, where like I just had to wait to see what you did. If you heaved, I get to do it on my turn. If you don't heave, I get to kill you. So I was still in control the whole time. Yeah, there was a there was a point that I I don't remember when it was. I said I think I'm winning this game, and I think I was like at 13, and you were at 10. <laughs> Yeah, um, as soon as we're both below, if we're both below 20 and we're within three or four, we're within like five life of each other, there's very few ways Icelander loses, I think. Yeah. Did I hypothermia you get you this game again? Not this game, no. You played Not it the game. turn after. Or before. Like you had to pitch it. Yeah, you played it the turn before I did a go again thing. Yeah, because I had, I was like in a bit of a pickle. Or maybe that was last game. We played a lot of games and these games are thonky. Yeah. These games are thonky. They are indeed. But but it was good. I hope that y'all got to watch some semi high level play of these two decks. Mostly Maybe. Bravo, definitely, because Jacob is pod. No. Uh, I, but I definitely think Icelander is my weakest matchup right now, like knowledge wise. Which is bad mm. because I've played it so much, but for me, most of my Icelander reps are from before Nats when we didn't know about the Wonderful list. And I was very tuned and was like destroying every Icelander because you can just be so aggressive and they can't preserve enough life that they're setting up. But yeah, my wife is home, so Rebecca's here. <laughs> I can tell because Mr. Weasley's <laughs> yeah. But, but uh, yeah, the yeah. the Michael Hamilton build is so much harder to kill. It's so efficient. Sorry about yeah. Mr. Weasley. He's probably loud. Yep. Anyways. Thanks, Anyways. everyone, for tuning in and watching us play. Good luck in your uh, good luck in your final weekend of ProQuests. Mm-hmm. And we will see you next time. Peace.